Welcome to the special edition, How to Live Off Dividends. This video series is a curated collection of the best strategies and insights for creating a sustainable income stream from dividends. I put together diverse approaches from John's dividend progress throughout the year. The guide features various strategies, from quick starts to long-term growth. Perfect for beginners and experts, this step-by-step -step plan shows you how to generate income and achieve financial freedom. There are nine ways on how to live off dividends. The first chapters are for you guys who want to know the fastest way to live off dividends. Every time I talk with and introduce dividend growth investing to people who are looking to improve their financial life, three out of five ask, is it really possible to live off dividends? The idea of not needing to live on paychecks already sounds like the ultimate financial freedom, but can I make enough to meet my needs? Let me begin by saying that it's possible to cover your expenses with cash flow from dividend income. Let's do the math. If you spend a total of $50,000 each year, all you need is a $1 million investment in a stock with an average dividend yield of 5% to take care of your living expenses. And if you invest more, you'll be sure to have some reserves for the future. But this also means that if you're making an average yield of 5% each year with living expenses running in hundreds of thousands of dollars, you'll need a much larger portfolio to meet up. This is where some people tend to lose their excitement. Well, that's why we've put up this video to show you the fastest way to achieve financial freedom and live off dividends. If you're ready to learn these tips, keep watching. But first, what is a dividend? See, a dividend is a reward from a company to its shareholders for their investment in the company. The corporation distributes a share of its profit to its shareholders either in form of cash or additional shares of stock. Dividend payments represent a stable source of passive income since you're entitled to a regular payment for holding a percentage of the company's stock. For example, suppose you buy 200 shares of ABC Corporation for $30 per share. You'll have a total investment of $6,000. Let's say that the company pays $0.30 cents per share monthly. That's 1% of the dividend yield. In this case, you'll receive $60 a month and in a year, $720. One great thing about dividend investing is the potential for dividend growth. Investing in dividend stocks allows you to share in the company's profits while also maintaining ownership of your investment. And since most dividend-paying companies are established, their stock prices tend to increase over time as their perceived investor value continues to grow. So if the ABC Corporation stock increases to $50 per share, that means you'll make a $20 profit on each of your shares if you decide to sell. In addition to this capital gain, your yearly dividend will increase to $1,200. Also, if you decide to take advantage of compounding by using your dividend earnings to purchase additional shares of company stock, you'll earn more money. The initial investment generates a certain return that you can reinvest to produce greater returns, and so on. Every share you purchase earns its regular dividend payout. So what is the fastest way to live off dividends? First off, setting a financial goal is critical to achieving financial independence through your dividend payments. By knowing how much money you need to live on each year, you can calculate how much you need to invest to generate the amount of income. For example, if you need $50,000 per year to cover your living expenses and you're investing in stocks that pay a 2% dividend yield, you'll need a portfolio of $2.5 million to generate that amount of income. In addition to setting a financial goal, it's crucial to have a plan in place to achieve that goal. This includes a timeline, investment strategy, and asset allocation plan. You should consider consulting with a financial advisor to help you develop a plan that aligns with your goals and risk tolerance. Another crucial factor to consider when setting your financial goal is inflation. Historically speaking, inflation ranges around 2% each year, and that means your cost of living is going to increase by 2%. Therefore, it's important to factor in inflation when setting your financial goal and adjust your investment strategy accordingly. You also need to develop a mindset for dividend investing. What does this mean? It simply means embracing the idea that you can generate a steady income stream from investing in high-quality dividend-paying stocks and funds. You can already tell that this is a crucial part of the process. This mindset shift can be a game-changer for many investors. 
Rather than focusing solely on capital appreciation or short-term gains, dividend investors prioritize long-term income generation. They seek out companies with a history of paying and increasing dividends, often referred to as dividend aristocrats, that have a strong track record of financial performance and are well-positioned for future growth. Embracing a dividend investing mindset can also help you stay focused and disciplined during market volatility. When the stock market experiences a downturn, many investors panic and sell their investments. But dividend investors understand that the value of their investments may fluctuate in the short term, but the income generated from dividends is likely to remain stable. This can help you weather market downturns and stay the course of your investments. A second benefit of a dividend investing mindset is that it can be a more sustainable and responsible approach to investing. By focusing on high-quality companies with a history of dividend payments, you're investing in companies that have demonstrated their ability to generate consistent profits and are likely to be around for the long term. This can help you avoid the risks associated with investing in trendy, speculative companies that may not have a proven track record. By prioritizing income generation over short-term gains, staying disciplined during market volatility, and investing in high-quality, sustainable companies, you can create a portfolio that can provide a stable income stream for years to come. So if you want to achieve financial independence and live off of dividends, you'll need a simple mindset shift. Another thing you should consider doing is building a diversified dividend portfolio. This means investing in a variety of stocks and funds that pay dividends from different sectors and industries. Diversification is crucial because it helps to reduce risk in your portfolio. By investing in a variety of stocks and funds, you can spread your risk across multiple companies and industries. This means that if one sector or industry experiences a downturn, your entire portfolio is not likely to be impacted as severely. Building a diversified dividend portfolio can also help you take advantage of different market trends and opportunities. By investing in companies from different sectors and industries, you can benefit from the growth potential of different parts of the economy. For example, you may choose to invest in both technology and healthcare stocks to benefit from the growth potential of both of these sectors. Another benefit of a diversified dividend portfolio is that it can provide a more stable income stream. By investing in a variety of dividend-paying stocks and funds, you can spread your income across multiple sources. This means that even if one company reduces or suspends its dividend payments, your overall income stream is not likely to be impacted as severely. One common approach to building a diversified dividend portfolio is to invest in dividend-focused funds or ETFs. These funds invest in a variety of dividend-paying stocks from different sectors and industries, which can produce a more efficient way to achieve diversification. However, it's important to note that building a diversified dividend portfolio requires careful research and analysis. You need to choose high-quality companies with a history of consistent dividend payments and strong financial performance. This will require you to analyze financial statements, evaluate management teams, and stay up to date with market trends and economic conditions. By doing this, you can reduce risk, take advantage of market opportunities, and provide a more stable income stream. While it requires careful research and analysis, the potential benefits of a well-diversified dividend portfolio are well worth the effort. You also want to reinvest your dividends. You want to use the income generated from your dividend-paying stocks and funds to purchase additional shares rather than taking the income as cash. Reinvesting dividends is a powerful tool for long-term wealth accumulation. By reinvesting your dividends, you can take advantage of the power of compounding. Compounding occurs when your earnings generate even more earnings, which can lead to exponential growth in the value of your portfolio over time. For example, let's say you invest $10,000 in a stock with a 3% dividend yield. In the first year, you would earn $300 in dividends. If you reinvest that $300 and the stock price remains the same, you would own an additional 30 shares of the stock. In the second year, you would earn $330 in dividends. And if you reinvest that income, you would own even more shares. Over time, the power of compounding can help your portfolio grow exponentially. 
Reinvesting your dividends can also help to boost your income stream over time. As you accumulate more shares of dividend-paying stocks and funds, your dividend payments will increase. This means that over time you can generate even more income without having to make additional investments. Another benefit of reinvesting dividends is that it can help to reduce the impact of market volatility on your portfolio. By reinvesting your dividends, you can take advantage of market downturns and purchase additional shares at a lower price. This can help to lower your average cost per share and increase your potential for long-term gains. Of course, there are some potential downsides to reinvesting dividends. One downside is that you may miss out on the opportunity to use the income for other purposes, such as paying bills or funding other investments. Additionally, if you're relying on your dividend income for living expenses, reinvesting your dividends may not be the best strategy. In summary, reinvesting your dividends is a powerful tool for long-term wealth accumulation and income generation. By taking advantage of the power of compounding, you can grow your portfolio exponentially and potentially increase your income stream over time. While it's important to consider the potential downsides, reinvesting dividends is a key strategy for investors who want to live off dividends and achieve financial independence. Beyond reinvesting and building a diversified portfolio is the ability to maintain a long-term investment perspective. This means focusing on the long-term growth potential of your portfolio rather than the short-term market fluctuations. One of the key advantages of investing in dividend-paying stocks and funds is that they tend to be more stable and less volatile than non-dividend-paying investments. However, it's important to remember that all investments carry some level of risk and there will always be some level of market volatility. The key to maintaining a long-term investment perspective is to focus on the underlying fundamentals of the companies and funds in your portfolio. This means looking at factors such as financial performance, management quality, competitive advantages, and industry trends. By focusing on these factors, you can make more informed investment decisions and avoid getting caught up in short-term market fluctuations. Another important aspect of maintaining a long-term investment perspective is to stay disciplined with your investment strategy. This means sticking to your investment plan, even in the face of market downturns or unexpected events. It can be tempting to make impulsive investment decisions in response to short-term market movements, but this can lead to costly mistakes and negatively impact your long-term performance. One of the most effective ways to maintain a long-term investment perspective is to use a dollar-cost averaging approach. This means investing a fixed amount of money regularly, regardless of market conditions. So instead of investing a lump sum of $10,000, you can invest $1,000 every month. This can help to reduce the amount of market volatility on your portfolio and help you stay disciplined with your investment strategy over the long term. Dividend investing can be the key to a peaceful retirement or a secure financial future since a one-time investment can generate income for your lifetime well-being. But it's important to remember that living off dividends requires patience, and discipline. It's unlikely that you'll be able to generate a significant income stream from dividends overnight. Instead, it will take some time and effort to build a well-diversified portfolio of high-quality dividend-paying stocks and funds. However, if you're patient and disciplined in your approach, you can achieve financial independence and live off dividends for years to come. The fastest way is good, but it demands a huge investment. What if you have a small starting investment? That's where our next strategy comes in, the dividend snowball. You know what happens when you push a small snowball down a hill? It keeps getting bigger and bigger by picking up more and more snow. By the time it reaches the bottom of the hill, it's turned into a huge snowball. This growth is compounded as it rolls down the hill. Now picture this, instead of snow, the ball is made up of dividend payments from various stocks in your portfolio. As it rolls down the hill, it gathers more dividends along the way, compounding its growth exponentially. Amusing, right? But how does it work? Which strategy is the best? What do you invest in? And can it make $5,000 of earnings a month? Before the end of this video, we will show you the portfolio companies that are ideal for these strategies and a way for John to earn $5,000 a month from the ideal portfolio. 
Everyone's investment journey is unique. Some people aim to make $1,000 a month, while others may aspire to earn $5,000 per month. When planning how to invest or diversify your portfolio, it's important to consider your individual financial situation and what makes the most sense for you. In today's video, John will explore two strategies to determine if they can help him make $5,000 a month after retirement. But first, how does the dividend snowball effect work? The dividend snowball effect is a simple concept. When a company pays out its dividend, it uses some of that money to buy more of its own stock. This increases the number of shares you own, which in turn leads to a bigger dividend payment next time. As the process continues, your shares and the amount of dividend you receive grow exponentially, like a snowball rolling down a hill. To understand this strategy better, think about this quote from Warren Buffett. Someone is enjoying the benefits today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This means that good things take time and patience, so you can apply this same idea to investing. Set up your investment with dividend-paying companies, forget about it for a while, and let your dividends grow and compound your investment portfolio over time. Just like a snowball grows as it rolls, your investments will grow too. Two Strategies of 25 Years of Investment To understand the power of dividend investing, let's consider a 25-year model with two strategies. Strategy 1 – John makes a one-time investment of $1,000. Strategy 2 – John invests $200 every month. For this model, we'll focus on a company called AbbVie, which is one of John's favorite investments. AbbVie has been increasing its dividend for nine consecutive years and is a significant part of John's long-term dividend stock portfolio. To create this model, we looked at the past performance of AbbVie's stock and projected it forward for 25 years. We took the compounding average dividend growth rate, in short, CAGR, over the last five years, which is 14.53%. We use CAGR because it takes into account the compounding effect of reinvesting dividends back into the investment. One-time investment over 25 years. Imagine you invest $1,000 in AbbVie stock and wait for 25 years. After 25 years, your initial $1,000 investment would have grown to $29,715 if you reinvested the dividends. Compare that to if you didn't reinvest the dividends, and your investment would only be worth $4,632. That's a huge difference of $25,083. The reason for this is that when you receive a dividend payment, you can use that money to buy more shares of the stock. By buying more shares, you'll receive a higher dividend payout next time. This allows you to buy even more shares, which further increases your future payouts. The process keeps repeating and growing over time like a snowball rolling down a hill and it helps your investment grow faster. If you continue reinvesting your dividends, your annual dividend payments will increase to $3,769, which is about $315 per month. It may not seem like much, but remember, it all started with just a $1,000 investment. Now let's say John invests $10,000 as a one-time investment. After 25 years, his investment will be valued at $297,153.96, paying an annual dividend of $37,698. This is about $3,140 per month. So you can see that the more you invest, the higher your dividends will be. And that amount of monthly income is more than enough for most people after retirement. Even if you decide to stop reinvesting at some point, your dividend payments will still continue to grow because the company usually increases the dividend amount over time. So, the earlier you start investing and reinvesting, the better your results will be. Overall, by starting with a small amount like $1,000 or one moderate $10,000 investment and reinvesting the dividends, you can achieve impressive growth in your investment over time. It's a great way to build wealth for the future. But what would the results be if you had a more comprehensive investing strategy? Let's say investing $200 every month over 25 years. Let's understand that. Investing $200 every month over the 25 years. 
You can follow a strategy that doesn't require you to go into debt, and it's easy to implement. All you need to do is invest an initial amount of $1,000 and add $200 to your investment every month. Following this strategy over 25 years means that you will have invested $61,000. By the end of the 25-year period, if you reinvest the dividends you earn, your investment would be valued at $535,610. Compare that to not reinvesting the dividends, and your investment would only be valued at $172,308. This means that by reinvesting the dividends, you have earned an extra $363,302. Without reinvesting, you would still receive $8,645 in dividends over this time, which is equivalent to $720 per month. But the real advantage lies in reinvesting the dividends. By the end of 25 years, if you reinvested the dividends, you would receive $67,785 in annual dividend income, about $5,650 per month. The power of compounding and reinvestment becomes even more evident if you continue the strategy for 5 or 10 more years. In 30 years, you would have $135,907 in annual dividends and a total value of $1,072,567. In 35 years, you would have $270,148 in annual dividends and a total value of $2,130,690. That's over $22,500 in dividends per month. The difference between reinvesting dividends and not doing so becomes even more significant. There's now a $1.9 million difference in total value and a $260,000 difference in annual dividend income. This is all because of the compounding effect, which strengthens over time. So the sooner you start investing and reinvesting, the more powerful the snowball effect of dividend investing will be. Now that you know how these strategies work, the question is, where to invest your money? Well, good news for you. We have compiled a list of funds and stocks from different sectors that meet the requirements of an ideal portfolio, safety, and good returns. In the end, we will show how John can make $5,000 a month from a portfolio of these stocks and funds. For the ideal portfolio, first, start with dividend aristocrats. These are reliable companies that have been increasing their dividends for at least 25 years. They're large and established businesses, and you can find them on a list called dividend aristocrats, which includes some of the highest dividend-paying stocks. Look at the percentage of profits the company pays out as dividends. If it's too high, it might not be sustainable. The ideal payout ratio is between 50% and 60% of their earnings. Also, be cautious of very high dividend yields, as they might indicate financial troubles for the company. Some of the most reliable companies are Coca-Cola, with a compound annual dividend growth rate, in short CAGR, of 5.34%. Procter & Gamble, with a CAGR of 5.73%. Johnson & Johnson, with a CAGR of 6.28%. McDonald's, with a CAGR of 8.39%. Next, consider high-dividend ETFs. Instead of buying individual stocks, you can invest in exchange-traded funds that focus on dividend-paying stocks. Some of the best ETFs to consider are Spider S&P Dividend ETF. This ETF currently yields 2.91% and has averaged a 10.23% return over the past decade. Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. This ETF has a 2.99% current yield and a 10.45% average return over the past decade. Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF. This ETF currently yields 3.69% and has averaged a 14.61% return over the past 10 years. Last but not least, dividend-paying REITs. These are like mutual funds, but they invest in real estate instead of stocks. They usually own commercial properties like offices, retail spaces, and apartments. REITs are required to distribute at least 90% of their income as dividends. Some of the best in the market include Kimco Realty Corp., which has a current dividend yield of 3.26%, 
Brandywine Realty Trust, with a current dividend yield of 6.59%. Brookfield Property REIT, with a current dividend yield of 7.54%. Before showing you what you could earn from the ideal portfolio, it's important to know from all these investment opportunities that they're clearly companies that can generate long-term wealth and can be found in various industries such as beverages, home improvement, fast food, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, or real estate. What's important is that these companies have strong competitive advantages that allow them to consistently grow and compound wealth over time. Return from the ideal portfolio. Let's say we're picking three of the finest from the three sectors. McDonald's with an 8.39% return. Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF with 14.61%, Brookfield Property REIT with 7.54%. If you invest in these three as a portfolio, you'll get an average 10.18% return. Using Strategy 1, after 25 years, your initial investment of $1,000 will be worth $12,607, paying you a $1,215 dividend annually. But the real return starts when you use the second strategy. After 25 years, using the second strategy, investing $200 every month, in this case, your investment would grow to $288,575, and you would receive an annual dividend income of around $27,711. That's about $2,310 per month. And if you let it invest for another five or 10 years, in 30 years, your investment would be worth $494,744, paying a $47,586 annual dividend. In 35 years, it'll be worth $836,999, paying an annual dividend of $80,580. That's $6,715 worth of income per month. Which means with this strategy, John can retire comfortably and without any concerns about his monthly finances. Investing in dividend-paying stocks is a smart way to steadily grow your wealth even with small amounts. So if you're waiting to invest until you have more money, you're missing out on the opportunity to benefit from years of growth that do not require a large investment. Now you know how significant a dividend snowball effect can be, but it's all in vain if you don't know how to build a successful portfolio. Here's how to build a monster dividend portfolio. Famous investor Warren Buffett once said, do not save what's left after spending. Instead, spend what's left after saving. And what better way to let your money work for you than by building a monster dividend portfolio? Dividend has been the talk of the town for the most part of the financial model, and now there are monster portfolios that are both safe and high yield. In this video, we'll show you and John the art of building a monster dividend portfolio, what to look for in an investment company, the portfolio structure, and mistakes to avoid. We'll show you step-by-step step how to create a powerful investment plan that keeps your money safe and makes it grow significantly. A portfolio that not only provides steady income, but also has the potential to grow your wealth exponentially. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, get ready to learn the strategies and tips and tricks that can turn your ordinary portfolio into an unstoppable force in the world of dividends. We'll show you how much you can earn from a one-time investment of just $10,000, and in the end, we'll see if our portfolio can earn $20,000 a month. Starting from the very basis of Understanding Dividends and How They Work In simple terms, dividends are a portion of a company's profits that are distributed to its shareholders. When you invest in a company's stock and become a shareholder, you become entitled to a share of the company's earnings. Dividends are like special treats given by companies to their shareholders. When a company makes a profit, it has the choice to share some of that money with the people who own its stock. So, if you're a shareholder in a company, you might receive some of its earnings as dividends. The dividend amount is usually shown as a percentage of the stock's price, known as dividend yield, which helps investors understand how much they'll get in return. 
Some companies pay dividends regularly, like every few months or once a year, while others might give special dividends when they have extra profits. To understand how dividend works, here's a simple example. Imagine you have 100 shares of a company that pays 50 cents per share every three months. You'll get $50 every three months as a reward. If you use that money to buy more shares, your investment can grow over time. More on growing dividends later on. But the question is, why dividends? Investors often include dividend-paying stocks in their portfolios for a couple of reasons. First, these stocks give them regular income, like a monthly or yearly paycheck. Second, they feel safer because even though stock prices can go up and down, companies that pay dividends are usually stable and profitable. And the main reason? While not perfect, the dividend approach gives us a greater opportunity to beat inflation over time than a bond-only portfolio. If you have both, that's the best. The investor who expects a safe 5% return without any risk is asking for the impossible. It's similar to looking for an insurance policy that protects you no matter what happens. It just doesn't exist. Even hiding cash in the mattress won't work due to low but constant inflation. Investors have to take risks, whether they like it or not, because the risk of inflation is already here. Growth is the only way to beat it. Now that you understand the what, how, and why of dividends, it's time to move on to the first step of creating your monster portfolio. Selecting Dividend Stocks There's a simple motto here, safety first. Remember how your mom told you to look both ways before crossing the street? The same principle applies here. The easiest time to avoid risk in investing is before you start. Before you even start buying into investments, set your criteria. Next, do your homework on potential companies and wait until the price is right. If in doubt, wait some more. More trouble has been avoided in this world by saying no rather than by diving right in. Wait until you find nice blue chips with bulletproof balance sheets yielding 4 to 5% or even more. Not all risks can be avoided, but you can certainly avoid unnecessary ones if you choose your investments with care. One company that checks all these boxes is the International Business Machines Corporation, nicknamed Big Blue. There's one thing that IBM has been consistent with, paying dividends to its shareholders. In fact, for the past 28 years in a row, they have increased their dividend payout. This means that they've been giving more money to their shareholders each year for a long time. Even though IBM has had some rough times, it still manages to be reliable when it comes to giving dividends. And in 2023, they raised the dividend again, showing that they have enough money to keep this streak going. This is something that makes them stand out as one of the best dividend stocks. When you look at how much the company's dividends have grown over the years, you'll see that it has been consistently increasing them since 1989. If you're thinking about investing in this company, focus on its potential for future dividend growth. In the case of IBM, it has a promising 10-year dividend growth of 7.05%. Another company that fits perfectly in this portfolio is Microsoft, the technology giant. Known by the ticker symbol MSFT, the company has increased its dividend for 11 consecutive years. MSFT is also a dividend achiever, having increased its dividend by at least 10% per year for at least 10 consecutive years. While the current dividend yield of 0.79% may not seem very impressive for the tech giant at first sight, taking a step back and looking at the big picture shows a different story. The company offers an impressive 10-year dividend growth rate of 11.57%. This means that despite the current lower yield, the company has been consistently increasing its dividends over the past decade, making it an attractive choice for long-term investors seeking steady growth in their income. So don't be fooled by the present numbers. The company's history of dividend growth shows its potential for rewarding investors in the future. Another superb example is Broadcom, a strong company that makes computer chips and software. They have a good track record of increasing dividends since 2010 and a competitive edge. Currently, they're offering a dividend yield of only 2.05%, but when you look at the growth perspective of the company, you can see it has a 10-year dividend growth forecast of 37.71%. The company was only paying 7 cents in 2010, and now 
it pays up to $16.90 per share. Based on this growth, there's no doubt that this company can achieve its dividend growth rate of 37.71% 10 years from now. Same is the case with American Express, which has a current dividend yield of 1.41%. But for dividend portfolio seekers, it promises a 10-year dividend growth of 10.44%. And this number is very much believable as the company has been consistently increasing since 1989. That is 34 consecutive years of dividend increases. Likewise, Apple's current dividend yield is only 0.5%, which seems very low for the tech giant, but it has a promising 10-year dividend growth of 9%. Some other companies investors might find attractive in their monster portfolios are Church & Dwight, with a current dividend yield of 1.11% and a 10-year dividend growth rate of 7.48%. Expeditors International of Washington, with a current dividend yield of 1.1% and a 10-year dividend growth rate of 8.9%. Ecolab, with a current dividend yield of 1.12% and a 10-year dividend growth rate of 8.96%. Brown & Brown, with a current dividend yield of 0.65% and a 10-year dividend growth rate of 9.69%. And last but not least, Next Era Energy, with a current dividend yield of 2.46% and a 10-year dividend growth rate of 10.98% increasing their dividends for 25 years. Companies with long histories of annual dividend growth also offer some peace of mind. When a firm manages to raise its dividend year after year through recession, war, market crashes, and more, it's making a powerful statement about both its financial resilience and its commitment to shareholders. We choose these stocks for our monster portfolio, but if you want to add your favorite stock, you can find your ideal companies in the Dividend Aristocrats list of the S&P 500 Index. These companies have raised their payouts annually for at least 25 consecutive years. They all play key roles in the American economy, and although they're scattered across pretty much every sector of the market, they do all share one thing in common, a commitment to reliable and long-term dividend growth. But before you go on and select stock to add to your portfolio, make sure to avoid very common mistakes that most investors ignore. Find companies with modest payout ratios. This is how much a company shares its profit with investors as dividends. A payout ratio of 60% or less is best to allow for wiggle room in case of unforeseen company trouble. Anything above 70% is a no-go. Find companies with a long history of raising their dividends. Bank of America's quarterly dividend yield was just 0.1% in 2011 when it paid out one cent per share. Ten years later, the dividend yield has increased to 2.2% with a 21 cent quarterly dividend in 2021. That's how it's supposed to work. Although it might seem small at first, it can have a huge impact on the investment. In the end, we'll show you how this compounding growth can help us reach the target of $20,000 per month even with a low current dividend yield. Another common thing to look for, find companies that have a starting low yield. And that brings us to the mistake most investors make. Many dividend investors put too much focus on the starting yield of a company's dividends. They get attracted to companies that offer high starting yields, but these may not always be the best investments. Some companies with high starting yields may not perform well in the long run. It's a value trap. The high yield trap looks good at first. Usually, you see companies with high current yields but little in the way of fundamental health. Although these companies can tempt investors, they don't provide the stability of income that you should be seeking. A 10% current yield might look good now, but it could leave you in grave danger of a dividend cut. One good example of such a company is Verizon Communications, a telecom company that gives a lot of money to its shareholders as dividends. The company's dividend yield is currently 7.7%, but there's a problem. Verizon owes a lot of money. In fact, they owe more than 200% of what they actually own. On top of that, Verizon's profits have been going down in recent years. The money they make for each share of stock has fallen by more than 10% in the last five years. This happened because other telecom companies are competing with them, and not as many people use traditional landline phones anymore. 
With all these challenges, there's a possibility that Verizon might have to reduce or huh? stop paying dividends in the future. This would not be good for investors who bought their stock hoping to get regular dividend payments. Likewise, there's Barnes & Noble, a book-selling company which lures investors into a mouth-watering 9.24% dividend yield. In reality, the business has faced financial struggles due to competition from Amazon. They started paying dividends, but it's more than they earn, and they've had declining sales for five years. The share price is volatile, and there's a lawsuit from a former CEO. Investors are urging the company to find a buyer like Amazon or private equity firms. So it's better to focus on companies that can grow their dividends consistently over time rather than just looking at the high starting yield. Such companies tend to offer better returns and are more beneficial for investors in the long run. Now that you have a good selection of companies to add to your portfolio, we move on to the next step, which is what to do with dividends. Remember, it's a long-term investment, most likely for your retirement. So, if you opt for dividend growth stocks, your next step should be to reinvest your dividends and allow the dividend snowball effect enough time to work its magic. You can end up with a much greater yield on investment than if you were to invest in high-yielding assets that don't offer much, if any, dividend growth. Want to see how much difference it can make? Let's say John invests $10,000 in a stock that pays a dividend yield of 10%. If John chooses not to reinvest his dividends, in one year, it'll earn him a dividend of $1,000. And when John retires, which is 30 years from now, he will still have only $10,000, which pays $1,000 a year. Now, if John does reinvest his dividend, the same $10,000 investment after 30 years will be worth $193,581, paying him an annual dividend of $18,206 or $1,517 per month. The difference in the value of the investment is very noticeable. In fact, reinvestment has added an extra $183,581 to his investment. Probably the perfect real-life example of this is Warren Buffett's Coca-Cola position. Because Warren understood how dividend growth can be an investor's secret weapon and had the patience to see it through, he now has a near 57% yield on cost with his Coca-Cola position, which means he's earning 57% of his original investment through dividends each year. Not only is that unbelievable in its own right, but it's a much higher cash flow return than you'll likely ever experience from the J.P. Morgan Equity ETF, Main Street Capital Corporation, or the like. Overall, while high-yielding dividend stocks offer immediate income gratification, it is the dividend growth stocks that are the secret weapon for long-term wealth accumulation. Now the question is, where to reinvest the dividends? One option is to reinvest the dividends back into the same companies that paid them. This is known as a dividend reinvestment plan, or in short, DRIP. By reinvesting dividends, you can purchase more shares of the company, which can compound your investment over time. Or you can choose another approach. Use the dividends to buy shares of other companies in different sectors or industries that over time have shown promising forward yield. This helps you diversify your portfolio and reduce risk. In fact, it's one of the most important aspects of building a monster dividend portfolio and is our next step into making a monster portfolio. Diversification Diversify your holdings of good stocks. It's a strategy used by financial planners, fund managers, and investors to better manage their investments. It means putting different types of investments together in one portfolio. The goal is to get better overall returns and reduce risks by spreading out investments across various options. So instead of putting all your money in one place, you mix and match different investments to make your money grow more safely. Diversify your weighting to include 5 to 7 industries. Having 10 oil companies looks nice unless oil falls to $10 a barrel. Huh? Dividend stability and growth is the main priority, so you'll want to avoid a dividend cut. If your dividends do get cut, make sure it's not an industry-wide problem that hits all your holdings at once. Take, for instance, the chip shortage that recently affected the production of all EV manufacturers, including Tesla. But beware of a fine-line rule of not over-diversifying. 
Diversification means spreading your investments across different companies to reduce risk. However, once you have around 7 to 10 different companies in your portfolio, adding more companies doesn't reduce risk much further. It just makes the portfolio complex and hard to manage. Let me explain why. There are two types of risks in the stock market, specific risk and systematic risk. Specific risk is about problems with individual companies, like their management or competition. Systematic risk is about broader things like economic crises or wars. We can't avoid systematic risk, but we can reduce specific risks by spreading our investments across different companies. Research shows that having around 7 to 10 different companies in our portfolio already reduces specific risks a lot. Adding more companies like 20, 30, or 40 doesn't reduce risk much more. It just makes our portfolio more complicated and difficult to handle. In your portfolio, you can have 10 main positions, like the ones we discussed in the Monster Portfolio, while selecting your stocks for your portfolio. These include IBM, Microsoft, Broadcom, American Express, Apple, Church & Dwight, Expeditors International, Ecolab, Brown & Brown, and NextEra Energy. This way, we have a good balance of risk reduction and manageability. But also, while diversifying, make sure you don't invest or reinvest into bad industries or companies. These industries can be complicated and uncertain, leading to risky investments. Firstly, cyclical industries like airlines, American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and automobiles like General Motors, Ford Motor Company, are highly sensitive to economic conditions. When the economy is doing well, their dividends may grow, but during economic downturns, their dividends can be cut or eliminated, leading to an unpredictable dividend income. Secondly, companies with high levels of debt in debt-heavy industries like utilities and banks, like Wells Fargo & Company or Bank of America Corporation, face challenges in maintaining or increasing dividend payments since they must allocate a significant portion of their profits to interest payments. This debt burden could result in dividend cuts if companies struggle to manage their financial obligations. Thirdly, competition-heavy industries like consumer staples, like Procter & Gamble Company or Colgate Palm Olive Company, and food and beverage demand substantial spending on marketing and advertising, reducing profits huh? and making it difficult for companies to sustain or grow dividends, making them unreliable for dividend income. Lastly, companies in slow growth industries like utilities and in some real estate investment trusts may face limited earnings growth, limiting their ability to support rising dividend payouts. As a result, dividends in slow growth industries might remain stagnant or decrease over time. To make informed investment decisions, thorough research and analysis of these industries and the specific companies within them are crucial to avoid potential dividend traps. Always opt for more stable and consistent dividend-paying stocks. It's better to focus on companies with simple and stable businesses because they can lead to better returns in the long term. Now that you know the what, why, and how of making the Monster Dividend Portfolio, the next very important question is, how much do you need to invest to live completely cost-free and never worry about not being able to make dues? No worries. For this, we'll show you what you can earn from one-time investments of $10,000, $50,000, and $100,000. We'll use all the stocks we picked up using all the steps combined. You can invest different amounts in different stocks, but for the sake of making these examples easy, we will make investments in all stocks equally and we'll be sure not to over-diversify our portfolio to avoid unnecessary complications. So let's say you have a 30-year plan and you decide to reinvest the dividends back into the same stocks that paid those dividends. We know that IBM pays a 10-year dividend growth of 7.05%, Microsoft has 11.57%, Broadcom with 37.71%, American Express with a very respectable 10.44%, Apple, the tech giant, with 9%, Church & Dwight has 7.48%, Expeditors International with a respectable 8.9%, Ecolab with 8.96%, Brown & Brown with 9.69%, and lastly, NextEra Energy with a 10-year growth rate of 10.98%. Now, if you add all those growth rates together, then divide by 10, that's the number of stocks we're holding, 
you will get your average portfolio return, which in our case would be 12.19%. Based on this rate, if John invests $10,000 today and reinvests his dividends, his initial investment 30 years from now will be valued at $366,855, paying him an annual dividend yield of $41,510 or about $3,460 per month. And that is more than enough for someone to retire and never worry about meeting deadlines. John can have a very happy, stress-free life after retirement. But what if you have an initial investment budget of $50,000 or $100,000? Okay, moving on to the big leagues, starting with $50,000. If John invests $50,000 today and reinvests his dividends, in 30 years, his investment will balloon to a jaw-dropping $1,834,278, paying him an annual dividend of $207,548, or roughly $17,295 per month. This may look like an exaggeration, but these numbers are completely achievable. This is what a monster portfolio can do. And the best part, all of these companies are some of the safest in the entire world. So pick the right stock, reinvest, and give your investment time to grow. Now let's move on to a $100,000 budget. If John invests $100,000 in this monster portfolio, in 30 years, his $100,000 will be valued at an astounding $3,668,556, paying him an annual dividend of $415,097, or roughly $34,591 per month. This monthly payment is more than enough to allow John to live a completely worry-free life. He can buy his dream car or house or travel the world and still have money left to spend on luxuries. Now, we should also not forget the booming new market of AI. So next up, we have the top five AI ETFs for 2023 and onwards. Decades ago, the internet transformed lives and created immense wealth, with investors riding its unpredictable wave. Now, AI is reshaping everyday tasks, transcending science fiction and integrating into all aspects of our lives. It echoes the transformative impact of the internet in the 90s, positioning itself as the next big thing. And now, you can invest in this future by investing in AI ETFs. Even better, we're going to show you the best five AI ETFs of the year, something that offers a life-changing opportunity. That's what John has in mind. He has $30,000 and a dream of owning a shiny new $25,000 car. But here's the catch. He doesn't want to dip into his savings to buy it. Instead, he wants to invest that money and use the profits to make his dream car a reality. Curiosity fuels John's drive to unravel the secrets behind these AI ETFs. But how many years would it take to own his dream car? To find this answer, he started looking for smart investment choices, which led him to the top five AI ETFs for this year. But before that, let's talk about why this sector is so important and lucrative. The AI sector is not just booming, it's exploding with unprecedented growth and limitless potential. It's everywhere you look, revolutionizing industries, transforming our lives, and sparking new frontiers of innovation. This groundbreaking technology has been silently advancing for years, but it was thrust into the global spotlight in late 2022. The AI wave is rising so rapidly that even the titans of tech, the visionaries who've shaped our digital world, are calling for a pause in AI development to allow regulation to catch up. Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla and SpaceX, and Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, are among the important voices urging caution and responsible development of this incredible technology. Their concerns only highlight the seismic impact AI is set to make in every aspect of our lives. For investors like yourself, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that rivals the chance to buy into Amazon or Apple stock back in the 1990s. Just imagine the immense wealth you could have accumulated by investing in those tech giants during their early stages. A $1,000 investment back then 
would be worth $1,162,615.73 today. The same opportunity is now knocking at your door in the form of AI investments. But what are they? What are AI ETFs? Think of them as baskets filled with stocks from various companies deeply involved in artificial intelligence. It's like owning a piece of many different AI companies all at once, creating a diverse and exciting investment portfolio. Now that you're on board, let's see if John can or can't buy his dream car without spending his saved money. Coming up next are the list of ETFs arranged from low to highest yield. Catchy part? Even the low yield is better than most ETFs in the market. Number 5. iShares US Tech Breakthrough Multi-Sector ETF This ETF has been performing really well this year, with a return of 21.7%, and the best part is the expense ratio is only 0.4%, which means you won't have to pay a lot in fees. Let's meet John, our investor who recognizes the immense potential of this game-changing ETF. With a modest investment of $30,000, he's set to make a jaw-dropping $6,510 in annual profits. That's money you can use to turn your dreams into reality, like owning that $25,000 dream car. In less than four years, John will be behind the wheel, fueled by the success of intelligent investment choices, and not to mention, He'll also have his initial invested $30,000. What sets this ETF apart from the rest? The answer is simple. It focuses on the most dynamic sectors of our time. We're talking about robotics, AI, cloud computing, cybersecurity, financial services, and genomics. These industries are on the brink of extraordinary advancements. Inside this remarkable portfolio, you'll find luminaries like Salesforce, a major player in CRM software, and Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, leveraging AI's power which has revolutionized their operations. This ETF provides reasonable diversification with a good number of companies in its portfolio. Compared to other options with higher fees, this makes it an enticing choice for investors looking to maximize their returns. Number 4. Global X Robotics and AI ETF This ETF has performed exceptionally well this year, with a solid return of 23.9%. The expense ratio is 0.69%, which is slightly higher than other options but still reasonable. With $30,000 to invest, John could expect a yearly profit of $7,170 based on the current rates. By choosing the ETF, John is on his way to boosting his wealth and securing a brighter financial future. And for his dream car, his yearly profit of $7,170 can make his dream a reality in three years and six months, which is a very good return on investment because this ETF focuses on investing in companies at the forefront of AI, automation, and industrial robotics. These areas have tremendous growth potential and are driving innovation. Diversity is the name of the game when it comes to this ETF. With an impressive portfolio of 298 companies, you're protected against the risks associated with investing in a single entity. The power of diversification ensures that your investment remains strong and resilient. But there's more. This ETF takes it a step further by offering an international mix of holdings. That means you're not just benefiting from the growth opportunities within a single region, you're embracing a global perspective that captures the best of the best from all corners of the world. With its strong performance, diverse holdings, and global perspective, this AI ETF offers an exciting opportunity for investors seeking exposure to the dynamic fields of robotics and AI. Take advantage of the chance to be part of the future. Number 3. Technology Select Sector Spider Fund In short, known as the Spider Fund, this ETF has a good return of 24.2%. The best part is the expense ratio is incredibly low, at only 0.1%, so you won't have to pay much in fees. That's you only paying $1 for your $1,000 investment. And with John's $30,000 to invest, he can expect a yearly profit of $7,260 based on the current rates. And with his annual profit of $7,260, he can achieve this goal in just over three years. 
This is not just any ETF. It features renowned industry leaders like Apple and Microsoft. But that's not where the excitement ends. They have a diverse range of holdings, including trailblazers like NVIDIA, Salesforce, Adobe, and Oracle. This remarkable diversification ensures that your investment risk is spread across a multitude of high potential companies, reducing vulnerability and maximizing your chances of success. What truly sets this ETF apart is its exceptional management over the years, consistently delivering solid long-term results. While its year-to-date performance may not be the highest on the list, it proudly boasts the best five-year return at a remarkable 19.5%. This shows that it has consistently performed well over time. With its focused approach to the AI space and the advantage of a low expense ratio, the Technology Select Sector Spider Fund is a compelling choice for investors looking to tap into the potential of artificial intelligence. Number 2. Invesco QQQ Trust Series 1 ETF this ETF has performed really well this year, with a strong return of 24.9%. The expense ratio is 0.6%, which is reasonable. Consider the 24.9% return. John's $30,000 investment has an annual profit of $7,470. But what about his dream of owning that $25,000 car? With his yearly profit of $7,470, he can make this dream a reality in just over three years, or three years and four months, to be exact. But what truly sets this ETF apart and gets your heart racing? It focuses on the giants of the tech world, companies perfectly positioned to thrive in the growing AI market. Picture industry leaders like Meta and Amazon blazing a trail in the world of artificial intelligence. These powerhouses are at the forefront of innovation and are poised to revolutionize how we live, work, and interact. By investing in this ETF, you're riding the wave of their success and positioning yourself for extraordinary gains. Diversity is the key to success, and this ETF has it in abundance. With a well-balanced portfolio of 85 companies, it offers a robust and diversified investment strategy. The top 10 holdings alone include giants like Meta and Amazon, ensuring that your investment is anchored in the brightest stars of the tech universe. Plus, the top 50% of holdings are spread across seven impressive companies, excluding the tech titan Apple. This strategic diversification adds balance, mitigates risk, and enhances the potential for long-term growth. If you're interested in investing in AI and technology, the Invesco NASDAQ Internet ETF is a compelling choice. With its strong returns, top AI players, and a well-diversified composition, it offers a great opportunity to benefit from the exciting advancements in AI. Number 1. Round Hill Ball Metaverse ETF with an impressive return of 27.8% this year, this ETF has been a star performer. Plus, the cherry on top is the low expense ratio of only 0.59%, ensuring you keep more of your hard-earned money. With $30,000 to invest, John could expect a profit of $8,340 in just one year. That's real financial growth without lifting a finger, considering John's dream of buying a $25,000 car. With his annual profit of $8,340, he could achieve this goal in as little as two years and 11 months and he'll still have $30,000 in his pocket. What truly sets this ETF apart and makes it a thrilling opportunity is that it ventures beyond the confines of traditional tech giants and embraces a diverse range of companies from the captivating gaming and entertainment worlds. Imagine the likes of Roblox, Tencent, and Sony leading the charge. These innovators are not just shaping the future, they're creating it. By investing in Round Hill Ball Metaverse ETF, you're positioning yourself at the forefront of this transformative industry. With the Round Hill Ball Metaverse ETF, you're not just investing blindly. This ETF focuses on companies that are at the forefront of shaping the metaverse, a virtual world where people interact and immerse themselves in amazing experiences. These companies are also pioneers in the fields of artificial intelligence and the infrastructure that powers the metaverse. 
This ETF is relatively new and doesn't have as many holdings as some other funds, but despite that, it's been performing really well, and its unique selection of companies makes it an exciting option for investors. These ETFs will help John buy his dream car. AI is a solid investment, but maybe you want something consistent. Maybe something in cash every month. Here are the top seven monthly dividend ETFs. In the world of investing, there's a certain magic to earning a steady stream of income month after month. It's the freedom that can only be found in monthly dividend ETFs, where the dividends keep flowing like a river that never runs dry. For John and those seeking this kind of financial sorcery, this video shows the ultimate portfolio of monthly dividend ETFs meticulously stacked from the best to the very best with the highest yield to help you earn consistent income throughout 2023 and beyond. In this exclusive video, we introduce John, a savvy investor who's about to embark on an extraordinary financial journey with $10,000 in hand. Spoiler alert, he goes big on his final investment. So lean back, relax, and witness how John masters the art of building wealth with these remarkable investments. Now, before we dive into our top picks for this year, let's quickly cover what exactly monthly dividend ETFs are and why they're a fantastic option for the average income earner. Imagine receiving a paycheck every month, but instead of it coming from your boss, it comes from your investments. That's what monthly dividend ETFs offer. They are investment funds that pool money from multiple investors to buy a diversified portfolio of dividend-paying stocks. The dividends generated by these stocks are then distributed to ETF shareholders on a monthly basis. Now, let's talk about returns. The primary goal of these ETFs is to provide investors with a regular income stream. But don't worry, you're not sacrificing growth potential here. These ETFs offer attractive dividend yields and have a history of increasing their dividend payouts over time. Picture this, a tree that grows taller and more fruitful with each passing year. That's how these dividend ETFs work. They invest in companies that consistently increase dividend payments, giving you a slice of the pie every month. The longer you hold these ETFs, the larger your monthly payouts become. It's like watching your money grow while enjoying the fruits of your investments. But what should John be looking for to invest mm -hmm. in the top picks this year? We got him covered. Here are our top seven monthly dividend ETFs. Number 7. Wisdom Tree U.S. High Dividend Fund On average, for this ETF, the dividend has been growing by 6.25% each year for the past five years, with an investment cost of 0.55%. Based on this, if John invests $10,000 today, at year's end, he'll earn $625, and all that will cost him only $55. And if the investment had been made 10 years ago, based on the ETF's consistent dividend growth over the past 10 years, John's $10,000 investment would have a value of approximately $17,894 today. It shows that the fund can be trusted to provide reliable and slowly increasing returns. One of the standout features of this is its dividend weighting strategy. Instead of traditional market cap weighting, the fund's focus on dividends provides a different perspective on the market. This approach ensures that companies with higher dividend yields carry more weight in the fund, potentially enhancing income potential for investors like John. However, there are even more captivating chapters in the world of dividend-focused ETFs. Brace yourself for number six, Invesco S&P 500 Low Volatility High Dividend ETF. In short, known as SPHD, this fund aligns perfectly with dividend investment goals. John is excited about SPHD because it offers high dividends and low fees. The ETF offers an annual dividend yield of 7.6% with a cost of 0.67%. So on a yearly basis, John's $10,000 investment at year's end would equate to $760 with a cost of only $67. And in 10 years, that investment would have a value of approximately $19,562. This estimation reflects the potential income generation and growth offered by SPHD, highlighting its commitment to rewarding investors through consistent dividend increases. 
With a significant gain of approximately $9,562, he not only showcases the success of his investment, but also enjoys newfound financial freedom, enabling him to enjoy luxurious amenities and confidently pursue his dreams. What's even more exciting is that the ETF has been on an upward trend, steadily rebounding from the significant negative impact of the global pandemic. This resurgence signals the fund's resilience and the potential for capital appreciation, further adding to John's enthusiasm. The impressive track record cements SPHD as a reliable source of income, making it an attractive investment option for dividend-focused investors like John. But the list doesn't end there for John. Number 5. Invesco High Yield Equity Dividend Achievers This fund promises to take the dividend-focused strategy to the next level. Over the past five years, the fund has demonstrated a dividend growth rate of 7.96% with a cost of only 0.53%. That's $790 at year's end with only a $53 cost. This consistent increase in dividend payments further reinforces John's confidence in the potential income generation offered by PEY. Based on PEY's consistent dividend growth rate of 7.96% over the past 10 years, John's $10,000 investment would have a value of approximately $19,647 today. The icing on top? The upward trajectory indicates the fund's resilience and potential for capital appreciation making it an attractive option for investors seeking long-term growth. This ETF focuses on investing in U.S. companies that grow their dividends over time and aims to have less risk and higher distribution yield compared to other market ETFs. This means John can potentially benefit from the market while reducing his risks. But there's even more. Number 4. Invesco KBW Premium Yield Equity REIT ETF Investors keen on opportunities don't look down on the Invesco KBW Premium Yield Equity REIT ETF, a promising investment option. What makes it special is that it gives more weight to companies that give higher dividends. Speaking of dividends, it aims to give out competitive dividends compared to others. In fact, its dividend of 9.75% with a low cost of 0.5% means that if you invest $10,000 in this dividend-focused ETF, the return after one year would be $975, while only costing you $50. This high yield is because the ETF invests at least 90% of its money in publicly traded financial companies. And assuming a 10-year time frame, John's $10,000 investment would have a value of approximately $23,817 today. This ETF has been one of the best because they follow an index that focuses on financial companies and gets rebalanced and updated every quarter. KBWY's main investments are in commercial real estate, niche real estate, and residential real estate. This helps diversify the investments and gives investors like John a chance to invest in different parts of the real estate market. Number 3. Global X Super Dividend Emerging Markets In short, it's known by its ticker symbol SDEM. It's a fund that catches the attention of investors because it has a really high dividend yield of 10.1% and charges only 0.67% in fees, which, for $10,000 invested, means a year-end return of $1,000 with a cost of $67. It focuses on investing in companies from countries with emerging markets, letting investors take advantage of the potential growth and income opportunities in these exciting markets. Based on the Global X Super Dividend Emerging Markets Fund's high dividend yield of 10.1%, in a 10-year time frame, a $10,000 investment would have a value of approximately $28,540 today. The fund's focus on giving all companies an equal chance for profitability, regardless of their size, further adds to its appeal for investors seeking diversified exposure and attractive returns. With the substantial gain of approximately $18,540 on his $10,000 investment in SDEM, John now has multiple options to use the extra funds. He could choose to reinvest the gain into other investment opportunities to further grow his wealth. But the next ETF on John's list has investor confidence in it. Number 2. Victory Shares International High Dividend Volatility Weighted ETF 
John dives into the details, discovering that this ETF is a hidden gem that combines stability and substantial returns in the international stock market, something everyone wants for their portfolio. So he invests $10,000. The cost of investing in this ETF is really low, at only 0.45%, which means John only has to spend $45 on fees. But fees are just one part of the investment. The next important part is the dividend yield. This ETF has a really attractive dividend yield of 6.1%. John can expect to receive $610 in dividends from his $10,000 investment, which is like getting a nice chunk of extra money on top of what you invested. What sets this ETF apart is its impressive dividend growth rate of 31.6% over the past three years, which is very good. Based on that dividend growth rate over the past three years, the value of John's $10,000 investment today would be approximately $15,284. And if you drag it to 10 years, that $10,000 investment would yield $30,888. The financial performance of this ETF over the past 10 years has been consistently stable. It's the kind of performance that brings confidence for long-term investments. This ETF aims to strike a balance between stability and profitability by providing a blend of low volatility and large payouts. However, as intriguing as this ETF is with its impressive dividend growth rate and low volatility, an even more fascinating aspect awaits exploration. And that's number one on our list, the Global X Super Dividend ETF. This ETF has a special strategy. It invests in 100 companies from all over the world that pay the highest dividends, which explains its high dividend yield of 12% with a low cost of only 0.45%. For a year investment of $10,000, the return would be around $1,200 with a cost of only $45. John's investment of $10,000 10 years ago in this ETF would have a value of approximately $31,384.28 today. That's an extraordinary gain of $21,384 on a $10,000 investment in this high-yield ETF. John could use the extra funds to fulfill his lifelong dreams, whether it be embarking on a thrilling round-the-world adventure, immersing himself in new cultures and experiences, or pursuing higher education to expand his knowledge and open doors to exciting career opportunities. What's impressive is that this ETF has given out monthly dividends for an impressive 11 years. This means investors can count on getting their regular income. By focusing on companies outside the United States, the fund helps investors diversify their investments and earn more money. This means investors have the chance to benefit from the growth and stability of these sectors. Some notable investments include companies like Yushu Property Company Limited, CPFL Energia SA, and Omega Healthcare. This mix of investments helps diversify and increase the potential for earning income. These numbers are good, but it can get better. Here's how much dividend you can earn from 100,000. It's one of the most common financial goals for American investors. Everybody likes making money on a stock trade, but what could be better than a stock that pays you income year in and year out? Such are the kinds of stocks that Warren Buffett and other long-term investors made their fortunes on. Extra money coming in each month to help you save for the future or pay your bills is an amazing thing, especially when you barely have time in the margins to think. That's what we'll be showing you today, a strategy with a $100,000 investment that both pays in dividends and in capital gains. John, like many of us, feels a deep sense of concern and uncertainty when it comes to safeguarding his financial future and enjoying a worry-free retirement. Recognizing the importance of this need, he has discreetly taken a strategic step by looking into investing $100,000 into dividend-paying funds. How much money would $100,000 bring in through dividends? Would John be able to afford his monthly bills and retirement expenses? You might get a lot more out of a $100,000 investment account than you think, but that depends on your strategy. So let's talk about the strategy John will be following today. We will discuss four investment opportunities, including a stock portfolio and three tickers. These options are ranked from the lowest to the highest returns, with increasing risk as returns go up. 
The first option on the list is the least risky approach. Number four, making a portfolio of stock. Making a stock portfolio involves carefully selecting a variety of stocks to invest in. In our case, it's made up of stocks that pay around 10% dividend yields. Stocks, in general, are not seen as a good investment when it comes to dividend payouts, and making a $10,000 income from $100,000 means generating an annual return of 10%. That's a pretty high bar, especially when considering the average dividend yield in the S&P 500 is about 1.6%. However, falling share prices over the last year have left some dividend stocks with very high yields. To choose the stocks for this portfolio, John sorted a list of S&P 500 stocks by their forecast dividend yields, with the highest first. Then he worked down the list, checking each stock for dividend safety and selecting a mix of companies from different sectors. Here are the 10 stocks John chose, with the average dividend yield adding up to 8.5%. This means that if John were to invest his $100,000 in these stocks, he could earn approximately $8,500 annually, or $708 per month in dividend income. Although this falls slightly short of his initial target, this comes out to be the safest among the investments, and it's still enough for him to make his life easy and pay for rent. It's worth remembering that high dividend yields can sometimes be a warning that problems lie ahead. These companies' dividends all look reasonably safe. To manage this risk, you should aim to expand the portfolio to hold 15 to 20 stocks over time. This would reduce the impact of any future problems at individual companies. Next on the list is number three, the BlackRock Innovation and Growth Trust. Also known as BIGZ or Big Z, it is an amazing investment opportunity that combines a high yield and a market with great potential. Let me explain why Big Z is so exciting. Right now, Big Z offers an attractive yield of 10.7%. That means John can earn a good amount of money from his investment. Seeing John invest $100,000 into Big Z at 10.7%, he'll earn $10,700 annually from his investment. On a monthly basis, this translates to approximately $891.60. With this monthly income, John will never have to think about making rent. And the best part? It's currently trading at a 14% discount to its net asset value, which means you can buy its portfolio for less than it's actually worth. Or in other words, when the fund gets back to its par value, John will have an extra $14,000 in capital gains. That's like an extra pocket full of investment money. Big Z focuses on investing in innovative tech companies with strong growth potential. These are the companies that are coming up with new and exciting technologies that could change the world. But Big Z doesn't just invest in tech companies. It also looks for other opportunities, like Planet Fitness, a popular gym owner. What makes Big Z even more special is that it's managed by BlackRock, the world's largest investment firm, and partly the reason why they've been able to maintain such high yields. Moving on to the next fund, which is a little riskier than the previous one, but offers a much higher dividend yield. Number two, the CBRE Global Real Estate Income Fund, or IGR. One reason why IGR is attractive is its dividend yield, which is currently at 13.46%. Investing $100,000 in IGR with a 13.46% dividend yield could earn John approximately $13,460 per year, or $1,122 per month. He can use the earnings to cover living expenses like rent and still have some to pay for utilities and groceries or allocate them towards savings or debt repayment, exactly the kind of stress-free benefit you want when you're retired. Additionally, the fund is trading at a discount of 3.7%, which in terms of money-back investment sounds like music to our ears. In terms of dollars earned, this means after going back to its normal value, John will have an additional $3,700 in capital gains. There is a high demand for properties, both for businesses and residences. This has led to a rise in the value of commercial and residential real estate. The CBRE fund is a fund worth considering in this situation. Its portfolio consists of 86 different real estate investment trusts that own hundreds or even thousands of properties in the United States and around the world. The company behind the fund is one of the largest real estate investors globally and has offices in the countries where it invests. This provides them with extensive experience and knowledge in the real estate market. By investing in this fund, you essentially become a global landlord without the responsibilities that regular landlords have.
Another interesting fund to consider is number one, Nuveen Core Plus Impact Fund. When a fund's discount is increasing, it can present a good opportunity to invest. That's what makes these funds top of our list. The fund offers a 10.2% dividend yield. It might not look like much, but there's a catch, so stay with us. If John invests $100,000 in NPCT with a 10.2% dividend yield, he could earn $10,200 per year, or around $850 monthly. With this, John can build an emergency fund or contribute towards his long-term financial goals. To top it off, the fund is currently trading at a 12.3% discount, which means John will have an extra $12,300 when the funds hit back its par value. A good chunk of earnings worth investing for, but there's more. In total, there's a potential for a 40% return over the short term if NPCT continues its current positive trend. That's a $40,000 return over a $100,000 investment. Adding all that up together by the end of the year, your initial $100,000 investment would be valued at around $165,000. But as they say, the higher the return, the higher the risk. The reason why this fund is at the top of the list is based on return, but it's also at the top of the riskiest funds. The popularity of the ESG trend suggests that such gains are possible, at least for now. This fund focuses on making sustainable investments from an environmental, social, and governance perspective. It invests in companies like Renewable Energy Group and Topaz Solar Farms. ESG investing, which considers environmental, social, and governance factors, is becoming increasingly popular on Wall Street, which only means one thing. Interest and demand for the fund keep going up, which will lead to more investors considering NPCT in the future. Now, putting it all together, the question is whether John has achieved what he wanted from his initial $100,000 investment. Looking back at the investments, from the stock portfolio, he earns around 8.5%. The BlackRock Innovation and Growth Trust returns 10.7%, while the CBRE Global Real Estate Income Fund adds 13.46% to his earnings. Lastly, the Nuveen Core Plus Impact Fund contributes 10.2% to his investment. If we sum up the percentages and get an average by dividing it by 4, we get 10.67% average dividend yield. This means the return on John's initial investment would be $10,670 per year, or approximately $900 per month. Enough not to worry about his rent anymore. All that and a handsome bag of capital return to buy a sense of financial security and potential for future growth. These are good numbers, but what if you could get this and even more, but with an investment of only $15,000? Keeping cash is good for instant liquidity, but not the king in an inflationary environment. The best way to keep cash from losing its worth quickly during times of high inflation is not to let it sit around doing nothing. Instead, you can make money work for you through dividends. Put some of your idle cash to work by investing in dividend stocks with a rate of return that's higher than the inflation rate. In this video, we will show you three investment strategies, each better than the one before. We'll show how much you can earn from these investment opportunities in one year, 10 years, 20, and 30 years from now. In the end, we'll show you how you can combine these strategies with a portfolio, make it a safe investment, and still make upwards of $30,000 per month. John saved $15,000 from his everyday job. As he explored finance, he discovered dividends, igniting a desire for financial freedom. John wants his money to work for him before he retires. With research in hand, his $15,000 became a ticket to dividend stocks, and John found three investment strategies, each outperforming the one before it. First one on his list is covered call ETFs. Investing in covered call ETFs is one of the fastest paths to living off dividends. These unique funds offer investors the opportunity to earn income from both stock appreciation and dividend payments. So how does it work? A covered call ETF is a special kind of investment fund that buys certain stocks and also makes special deals called call options, which offers the right to buy a stock at a set price within a time frame on those stocks to make more money. They try to make these special deals as much as they can to make more profit for people who invest. When you put your money in a covered call ETF, you can make money like you're doing these special deals, but you don't have to do anything yourself. The fund does it for you. 
The beauty of these ETFs lies in their ability to provide income from both dividends and option premiums, resulting in a more stable and reliable stream of passive income. However, it's essential to understand that these ETFs come with some risks. For instance, options may expire worthless or the stock prices may decline, impacting the overall performance. Some well-known cover call ETFs that John can add to his portfolio and invest in are QYLD, XYLD, and RYLD. These funds can give you good extra money, often more than regular dividend stocks. Let's see how much money they made in the past year. QYLD with a dividend yield of 12.1%, XYLD with 12.2%, and RYLD with 13.3%. If John only wants to invest in covered call ETFs, these three combined will provide an average dividend yield of 12.53%. Based on this, if John invests $15,000 today, by the end of the first year, the covered call ETFs can pay him up to $1,880. But the exciting part of this investment starts when John reinvests his dividends for the next 10, 20, or 30 years if he goes with this dividend snowball plan. In 10 years, his initial $15,000 will grow to $51,513, paying him an annual dividend of $6,764, or roughly $564 per month. In 20 years, the same investment will grow to $176,903, paying him an annual dividend of $23,229, or $1,936 per month. Taking it a step further, in 30 years, John's initial investment of $15,000 will grow to $607,515, paying him an annual dividend of $79,774, or about $6,648 per month. The reason for this compounding increase in dividends is that when you reinvest dividends by buying more shares, you'll receive a higher dividend payout next time. This allows you to buy even more shares, which further increases your future payouts. This process keeps repeating and growing over time like a snowball rolling down a hill, and it helps your investment grow faster and pay a higher dividend. Next up on John's list is REITs. A real estate investment trust, or REIT in short, is like a savings group for real estate. Think of it as you and your friends putting money together to buy a building and the rent money is shared among you. REITs work in a similar way. People put money together and that money is used to buy different buildings like offices, malls, or apartments. The money earned from these buildings is then shared among the people like John who invested. Historically, REITs have shown solid performance with an average annual return of 10% over the past 20 years. This means that investing in REITs can be a smart way for John to grow his wealth while earning a steady potential income. One great thing about REITs is that, unlike regular stocks, they often pay dividends every month. This makes them an even more attractive choice for people who want a steady income from the stock market. It's important to know that the amount of money you get from REITs can go up and down because it depends on how many people rent the properties and how the economy is doing. While REITs can give you more money than regular stocks, they can also be risky when the economy is not doing well. So how much does John need to invest to earn $15,000 a year from REITs? For this, we need to look at how some of these REITs have performed recently. Some of the best picks for investors are Blackstone Mortgage with a dividend yield of 10.8%, Orchid Island Capital with 16.6%, and lastly, Invesco Mortgage Capital with 18.8%. If John only wants to invest in REITs, these three combined will provide an average dividend yield of 15.4%. Based on this, if John invests $15,000 today, by the end of the first year, the REITs can pay him up to $2,310 annually. But what if John reinvests his dividends for the next 10, 20, or 30 years? If he goes with this dividend snowball plan in 10 years, his initial $15,000 will grow to $67,975, paying him an annual dividend of $11,088, or roughly $924 per month. In 20 years, the same investment will grow to $308,043, paying him an annual dividend of $50,249, or $4,187 per month. 
Moving on to the big leagues. In 30 years, John's initial investment of $15,000 will grow to $1,395,955, paying him an annual dividend of $227,714, or about $18,976 per month. This shows with a slightly higher dividend yield, the compounding snowball effect is even more apparent. But as we said, REITs do come with inherent stability risk. They are known to be a little volatile. So if you want to know how to reduce that risk and still benefit from the higher yield, wait till the end when we show you a portfolio of all investment opportunities together that is both safer and offers a higher yield. Next up, we have Dividend Aristocrats. Dividend aristocrats are special companies in the S&P 500 group that regularly give money to their shareholders. Not just that, they also increase the amount they give each year. To become a dividend aristocrat, a company must keep raising its payments for 25 years. These companies are like champions of stability. They often sell things that people always need, even when the economy is not doing well. Investing in dividend aristocrats is one of the safest and smartest choices. These companies are good at handling money and making smart decisions. When they give more cash each year, it shows they're doing well. Even though they share money with their investors, they still manage to grow. This is a good sign that they're growing on their own, too. In simple words, dividend aristocrats are like super reliable companies that share their profits with shareholders and keep giving more every year. Investing in them can give you a reliable income and a chance to be a part of a strong company's success. And some of the best dividend aristocrats in the market are AbbVie with a 10-year dividend growth rate of 17.16%, Visa with 19.02%, and Broadcom with 37.71%. If John only wants to invest in dividend aristocrats, these three combined will provide an average dividend yield of 24.63%. So what kind of return can John expect if he reinvests his dividends for the next 10, 20, or 30 years? Well, let us show you. With the average aristocrat's dividend rate of 24.63%, in the first year, John's initial investment of $15,000 will earn him an annual dividend yield of $3,694. In 10 years, his initial $15,000 will grow to $135,618, paying him an annual dividend of $26,801, or roughly $2,233 per month. In 20 years, the same investment will grow to $1,226,149, paying him an annual dividend of $242,317, or $20,193 per month. Moving to the massive leagues, in 30 years, John's initial investment of $15,000 will grow to $11,085,853, paying him an annual dividend of $2,730,445, or about $227,537 per month. Like we said, the higher the dividend yield, the higher the apparent effect of the dividend snowball. Now, John may not want to expose all his investments to one specific strategy to avoid future uncertainties. So what's the best approach in this condition? For this, John can make a portfolio of all these strategies. Now, if you found the video helpful so far and are thinking of investing, you can join our free Discord community where the members help each other out. Click the link in the bio to join. Okay, back to our portfolio. We know the average return from our three strategies. The average return of covered call ETFs were 12.54%. REITs has an average dividend yield of 15.4%. And lastly, dividend aristocrats with 24.63%. If we invest in all these equally, our portfolio return will be 17.52%. Based on this yield, if John invests $15,000 today, by the end of the first year, he will earn yearly dividends of $2,628. But if he waits for 10, 20, or 30 years, his portfolio starts to reap the fruit of snowball compounding. In 10 years, his investment will grow to $83,326, paying him an annual dividend of $13,130, or $1,094 per month. 
In 20 years, the same investment will grow to $462,886, paying him an annual dividend of $72,940 or $6,078 per month. And in 30 years, it will balloon to $2,571,381 with an annual dividend of $405,187 or $33,818 per month. The best thing about creating the portfolio is that it still allows you to earn higher returns but at the same time keeps your fund safe. This video was about finding dividend stocks and turning your $15,000 into a fortune. Now let's say you've set a target of $2,800 per month from the first year. Here's how much you need to get to that mark. When it comes to generating passive income, dividends can be an excellent source of steady cash flow. Imagine waking up every month to receive a hefty check of $2,800 effortlessly flowing into your bank account. No 9 to 5 grind, no boss breathing down your neck, just the sweet sound of dividends piling up as you sip your coffee on your sun-soaked porch. It almost sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? But here's the kicker, with the right investment strategy and a bit of patience, this financial dream can become your reality. The question is, how much money do you actually need to invest to achieve a $2,800 dividend income monthly? And can you get a better return while being safe? In this video, we will see six potential investments to help you understand just how much capital is required to reach that $2,800 per month threshold and start living off those juicy monthly payouts. And in the end, we will show you how to earn $2,800 with as little investment as possible. Tired of the traditional 9-to-5 job, John dreams of financial independence and having his money work for him. His goal is to earn $2,800 per month, which is equivalent to a yearly income of $33,600, similar to what he would earn from a regular job. Today, John explores potential investment opportunities, starting from the safest option that requires a larger initial investment, all the way to a thrilling and slightly riskier investment with a smaller initial investment requirement. In the end, we will show John and you how you can make a portfolio of these stocks and use it to make better than average returns while still being on the safe side. So join along, comment where you think you can add more value or if you have any questions. Let's get started. Starting at number six, we have ABV, ABBV, a global pharmaceutical company that has established a strong track record of providing consistent dividends to its shareholders for nine consecutive years. Currently, ABV offers a competitive dividend yield of 4.3%. If John is seeking to earn $2,800 per month, he would need to make an investment of approximately $782,122 today. This investment is slightly on the higher side, but it's still better than what average S&P 500 companies would want you to invest, which is around $2 million. With this steady income stream, John can have the financial freedom to pursue his passions and enjoy the fruits of his investment. AbbVie's success stems from its focused operations in the pharmaceutical sector, specifically in areas such as immunology, hematologic oncology, and neuroscience. Despite recent minor setbacks, AbbVie remains committed to rewarding its shareholders through regular dividend payments. The company's commitment to consistent dividend growth showcases its dedication to providing value to investors. AbbVie's competitive advantage lies in its robust patent portfolio and ongoing research and development efforts. With a strong pipeline of innovative therapies, the company has the potential for growth across various therapeutic areas. This, coupled with AbbVie's current valuation and a fair value price to earnings ratio of 10.2, meaning investors are willingly paying higher because of confidence in the company, makes it an appealing investment opportunity. Furthermore, the dividend yield of 4.3% provides an attractive income component for investors. AbbVie's reputation as a high-quality business with its strong pharmaceutical pipeline and shareholder-friendly approach, including dividends, sets it apart in the market. Investors like John can rely on AbbVie's consistent dividends and potential for future growth, making it an appealing choice for those seeking both income and long-term investment prospects. Next on the list is 3M Company, also known as MMM. 
This is a company that dividend investors absolutely love. This year, it's been paying a dividend yield of 6.08%. This is a very good return considering how safe this investment is. Based on this, John needs around $551,931 to earn a monthly income of $2,800. That's a great opportunity for John to have his money work for him and enjoy a steady stream of passive income without the fear of losing his stake. What makes 3M so special is that it's a dividend king. This means that for over 50 years, it has consistently increased its dividend payouts to shareholders. It's a sign of their strong commitment to rewarding their investors. Not only that, but 3M also offers a promising five-year annual return of 17.3%, which means there's potential for the investment to grow over time. 3M is a global company that sells all sorts of products used in our daily lives, from homes to hospitals, offices to schools. With a workforce of about 95,000 employees, they serve customers in more than 200 countries. They have different divisions like safety and industrial, healthcare, transportation and electronics, and consumer, which contribute to their success and ability to adapt to changing market conditions. The company's long history of increasing dividends combined with its global presence and diversified products makes it a reliable and attractive investment choice. With the passive income from his investment, John can enjoy financial security, pursue his dreams, and have the freedom to live life on his own terms and never worry about a 9-to-5 job. Now we step into the moderate risk level opportunities, starting with Armor Residential REIT ARR. This unique mortgage real estate investment trust, in short, MREIT, offers a remarkable monthly dividend yield of 18.53%. This means to earn $2,800, John needs to invest around $181,303 in Armour Residential, considerably less than AbV and 3M, in fact more than $500,000 less than AbV. As an MREIT, Armour Residential focuses on investing in residential mortgage-backed securities, particularly those backed by government-sponsored entities like Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and Ginnie Mae. The company, founded in 2008, is dedicated to creating value for its shareholders through careful investment strategies and risk management. What sets this REIT apart is its unique dividend payment frequency. Unlike most companies that distribute dividends quarterly or semi-annually, it pays dividends to its shareholders every month. This regular stream of income can provide John with financial stability and the opportunity to enjoy the fruits of investment every month. Although the company has faced some challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic, such as declining spreads and economic disruptions, it has managed to navigate these difficulties. They have met margin calls and maintained access to repurchase financing. While there was a dividend cut due to the impact of the pandemic, the company is showing signs of recovery, something investors like John keep an eye out for. Next on the list is Northern European Oil Royalty Trust NRT. This remarkable company has consistently paid dividends to shareholders since February 19, 1976. Additionally, NRT offers an exceptional dividend yield of 30.19%, significantly higher than the median dividend yield of 1.2% for other companies in the oil and gas exploration and production industry. For John to earn a monthly income of $2,800, he would need to invest approximately $111,318 in NRT. The trust acts as a representative for the shareholders and receives payments from companies that produce gas and oil in Germany. These payments are based on the amount of gas and oil produced from the specific areas covered by the trust. By holding these royalty rights, the trust allows the unit owners to benefit from the income generated by gas and oil production in Germany. It provides a way for individuals to have a stake in the profits of the industry without directly participating in its operations. The company's strength lies in its excellent dividend valuation and growth. The company is considered a great value stock, earning a strong dividend valuation score of grade A. The icing on the top? It also demonstrates a very strong dividend growth of grade A. Investors may find NRT appealing due to its high dividend yield and robust dividend growth. With a long history of dividend payments, the company has shown an average annualized dividend growth rate of 10.1% over the last five years. 
Investors who seek high dividend yields and are willing to accept some fluctuations in dividend payments may find NRT an attractive investment opportunity. Now we move on from moderate to slightly riskier investment opportunities, starting with Sonic Shares Global Shipping ETF, known by the ticker symbol BOAT. This ETF is an investment fund that focuses on the international maritime shipping industry, providing investors with exposure to companies involved in sea transportation. As of the current year, this ETF has offered its shareholders an impressive dividend yield of 36.98%, which is very lucrative when you want higher returns from less investment. For John to earn a monthly income of $2,800, he would need to invest $90,840 in Sonic Shares Global Shipping ETF. This ETF presents an opportunity for investors to tap into the significant role that global trade plays in the economy and potentially benefit from the growth of the shipping sector. The ETF holds a diversified portfolio of 50 different investments. The ETF is divided into various subsectors, with most holdings in container deep sea and offshore shipping, followed by dry bulk deep sea and offshore shipping and crude oil transportation. The top 10 companies comprise more than half of the fund's portfolio. The ETF includes companies primarily from the United States, Europe, Japan, and Hong Kong. And the ETF presents a bullish investment opportunity due to its reliance on global trade, just-in-time manufacturing, and inventory management. Investors like John can potentially benefit from the growth of the global economy and the shares of shipping companies. Considering its current levels, it might be worth considering buying the fund. Next on the list with the highest dividend yield is CVR Partners LP, UAN. This company has been consistently paying dividends to its shareholders since August 12, 2011. Currently, the company has a remarkable dividend yield of 50.63%, higher than most industry sector standards. For John to earn a monthly income of $2,800, he would only need to invest $66,406. That's almost $720,000 less than AbbVie. What sets CVR Partners LP apart is its significantly higher dividend yield compared to the industry average of 0.7%. This shows the company's ability to provide a strong return on investment through its generous dividends. The good thing is, it's not like a one-time high return. Over the past five years, the company has displayed an average annual dividend yield of 38%, showcasing consistent dividend distributions. Moreover, the company's dividend per share has grown at an impressive compound annual growth rate of 126.1%. This highlights the company's commitment to rewarding shareholders with increasing dividend payments over time. The company has received a strong dividend growth grade of A, indicating consistent growth over the past year, supported by factors such as cash flow and return on assets. However, there are some challenges in generating sufficient cash flow to cover dividends, so it may not be the safest. So should you invest in it? Actually, we have a better plan. Portfolio Returns now, you may not want to invest all your money in risky assets in hopes of higher returns, and also, you don't want to only invest in low-paying funds. For this, you can make a portfolio of these six assets. We know AbbVie offers a competitive dividend yield of 4.3%. 3M has been paying a dividend yield of 6.08%. Armor Residential REIT offers a remarkable monthly dividend yield of 18.53%. NRT provides an excellent dividend yield of 30.19%. The Sonic Shares Global Shipping ETF has an exceptional dividend yield of 36.98%. And lastly, CVR Partners LP stands out with a remarkable dividend yield of 50.63%. By taking every opportunity into the portfolio and dividing it by 6, you get an average return of 24.45%. Based on this yield, if John wants to earn $2,800 a month, he would have to invest $137,297. That's still almost $650,000 less than AbbVie. The best thing about creating a portfolio is that it still allows you to earn higher returns but at the same time keeps your fund safe. 
And that's the golden rule. When investing, it's important to balance seeking higher returns and maintaining safety. These are John's six assets for his portfolio. What are your assets? Do you think there are better options to consider? Let us know in the comments section below. Now to finish it off, here are the 10 best buy and hold forever dividend stocks. For years, investors have been in pursuit of passive income, the ultimate goal for achieving financial freedom. The idea of earning cash effortlessly without trading time for money is very appealing. While there are different ways to earn passive income, one strategy that has proven to work over time is investing in dividend stocks. But the question that's always been alongside it is which dividend stocks do you invest in? Can you choose just some and let them work their magic? And most importantly, can this investment truly provide financial security for John? In this video, we'll show you and John the best 10 buy and hold forever dividend stocks. How much can you earn from an initial investment of $10,000? We'll show you how you can make a portfolio of these that not only provides steady income, but also has the potential to grow your wealth exponentially. In the end, we'll show you how you can start by investing just $200 per month and still make over $10,000 per month. But before looking into these, one mistake that most investors make is focusing too much on the current dividend yield. You'll see how this can be solved. Finding a company with a long track record of consistent dividend payments is only part of the winning formula for investing in dividend stocks. Dividend growth matters too. Rising dividends not only make a stock more attractive to new income investors, but steady dividend increases over time means increasingly higher dividends over time. Now that we've got that cleared up, we move to our top 10 buy and hold forever dividend stocks arranged from modest to highest dividend growth rate. Our first of the top 10 picks of forever dividend stocks is PepsiCo. Known by the ticker symbol PEP, this dividend aristocrat has been consistently increasing its dividends since 1989. That's 34 years of consecutive dividend growth. The company has a current dividend yield of 2.68%, but the real dividend yield that long-term investors like John should be interested in is their 10-year dividend growth rate of 8.02%. Based on that rate, if John invests $10,000 today and holds this stock for 30 years while reinvesting his dividends, his investment after 30 years will be worth $108,287, paying him an annual dividend of $8,266, or roughly $689 per month. The best thing about PepsiCo is that it can easily hit that forward growth rate. That's because if you look at the historical records over the last 10 years, the company's dividend has compounded by 10.6% and growth in recent years has averaged about 9%. To top it off, this aristocrat has a payout ratio of about 80%, which should provide plenty of room for future dividend growth. PepsiCo's main advantages are its established brands and distribution channels. It has some of the most famous consumer food and beverage brands in the world, including Pepsi-Cola, Gatorade, Frito-Lay, Quaker, and Tropicana. The company's largest 22 brands each generate at least $1 billion in annual sales and have established themselves as favorites with consumers. Plus, its unique positioning as a dominant provider of snacks and beverages makes it a key vendor for its retail customers because it can serve as more of a one-stop shop. Our next forever buy and hold contender is Ecolab. Known by the ticker symbol ECL, this dividend aristocrat has been consistently increasing dividends for 30 consecutive years. ECL has a current dividend yield of only 1.13%, but for long-term investors like John, it promises a 10-year dividend growth rate of 8.96%. Based on that rate, if John invests $10,000 today with reinvesting and holds this stock for 30 years, his investment after 30 years will be worth $142,725, paying him an annual dividend of $12,103, or roughly $1,008 per month. As for its mode of business, Ecolab sells a wide range of sanitizing, cleaning, and water treatment systems that help customers in virtually every end market maintain clean environments, keep their food safe, and optimize their energy and water use. 
Altogether, the company serves over 1 million customer locations in more than 170 countries. What sets Ecolab as one of the best dividend aristocrats to own for the long term is its leading technology portfolio, sticky customer relationships, and a large opportunity for growth. The next pick on the list is the 3M Company. Known by the ticker symbol MMM, this dividend aristocrat has an exceptional dividend growth track record having increased its dividend for over 60 years in a row. Currently, the company offers a very competitive dividend yield of around 5.52%, making it one of the high-yield stocks in the market. Not only that, it also offers a competitive 10-year dividend growth rate of 9.33%. Based on that rate, if John invests $10,000 today with reinvesting, his investment after 30 years will be worth $159,085 paying him an annual dividend of $14,016, or roughly $1,168 per month. With a history of over 100 years, 3M operates in more than 200 countries and has a global presence. The reason 3M has been at the top for so long is it's a diversified industrial company known for its wide range of products, from adhesives to personal protection gear. What sets 3M apart from other dividend aristocrats is a diversified product portfolio and strong global presence. Its wide range of products across various markets makes it more resilient compared to its competitors. To top it off, the company's history of resilience during economic downturns and commitment to innovation has been top-notch around the world. Next on our list is NVIDIA Corporation. Known by the ticker symbol NVDA, this company is relatively new to the dividend market compared to all our other forever stocks to buy and hold. But the company has shown some serious growth over the past decade to stamp its footing in the technological world. NVIDIA has a current dividend yield of only 0.04%, and this low yield is why it's ignored by many beginners. But that's where they're wrong. For long-term investors like John, NVIDIA promises a 10-year dividend growth rate of 11.02%. Based on that rate, if John invests $10,000 today and holds this stock for 30 years, his investment after 30 years will be worth $260,829, paying him an annual dividend of $26,868, or roughly $2,239 per month. NVIDIA stands out in the technology industry for its exceptional performance and dominance in the GPU and AI markets. Its GPUs are considered industry standard for high-quality graphics, driving the growth of the gaming sector. In fact, with a market capitalization of around $1.09 trillion, NVIDIA is a leading player in the gaming, data center, and automotive industries. Its GPUs are widely used in gaming consoles, PCs, and high-performance computing systems while its AI solutions are applied in various sectors, including autonomous vehicles, healthcare, and robotics. The company is known for its continuous innovation and cutting-edge technologies. The company's commitment to innovation, market dominance, and financial strength make it an attractive option for investors seeking exposure to the technology sector and potential dividend growth. If you think $2,239 per month is a good return, wait until the end, where we'll show you how a portfolio of these stocks can pay you upwards of $20,000 per month. Next on our list is T. Rowe Price. Known by the ticker symbol TROW, this company has been consistently increasing its dividend for 36 years straight. T. Rowe has a current dividend yield of 4.13%, but for long-term investors like John, the company promises a 10-year dividend growth rate of 12.89%. Based on that rate, if John invests $10,000 today and holds this stock for 30 years, his investment after 30 years will be worth $449,702, paying him an annual dividend of $53,581, or roughly $4,465 per month. This is one of the best dividend aristocrats to own because of its brand strength, strong track record of performance, relatively low maintenance fees, and strong distribution channels. It is, in fact, one of the largest asset managers in the world. 
The company offers a wide range of mutual funds that pursue investment styles, including growth, value, sector-focused, tax-efficient, and quantitative approaches. By assets under management, close to 80% of T. Rowe Price's assets are in stock and blended asset portfolios, with the remainder invested in fixed income securities and money market portfolios. With a normalized payout ratio sitting near 72%, the annual dividend growth of at least 10% per year going forward is very much achievable. Next on our list is Costco Wholesale Corporation. Known by the ticker symbol COST, this company has a strong dividend track record having raised its quarterly dividends for 18 consecutive years, making it an appealing choice for dividend investors. Its dividend yield is currently at 0.74%, which is considered relatively low compared to some other dividend stocks. But it's not a stock to be overlooked for its low current yield. For long-term investors, the company promises a very respectable 10-year dividend growth rate of 12.96%. Based on that rate, if John invests $10,000 today and holds this stock for 30 years, his investment after 30 years will be worth $458,944, paying him an annual dividend of $54,957, or roughly $4,580 per month. This proves that an initial low yield can be very deceiving with these stocks. And that's the mistake most investors make, focusing too much on the initial yield. Cost, Costco, operates membership warehouses in various countries, including the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Mexico, Japan, and others. It's known for its bulk shopping model, offering a wide range of products to its members at discounted prices. The company stands out for its consistent profits and cash flows, making it a stable and reliable investment. Its membership-based business model and discounted bulk pricing attract a loyal customer base, driving its sales growth. One reason it's been thriving and sharing increasing dividends for 18 years straight. Another top pick is J.P. Morgan Chase & Company. Known by the ticker symbol JPM, J.P. Morgan Chase is a leading global financial services firm. Its dividend yield is currently at 2.6%, but for long-term investors, the company promises a very generous 10-year dividend growth rate of 15.1%. So, if John invests $10,000 today and holds this stock for 30 years, his investment after 30 years will be worth $853,354, paying him an annual dividend of $117,556, or roughly $9,796 per month. And a company like J.P. Morgan adds icing on the cake, since it's one of the largest and most well-established banks in the world with a history of over 200 years. The company operates in various segments, providing a wide range of financial products and services to individuals, businesses, and institutions. The company is renowned for its strong balance sheet, meaning it holds substantial liquidity to prepare for economic downturns or uncertain times. This conservative approach to managing its finances has helped the bank navigate through challenging periods like the financial crisis of the late 2000s and maintain stability. Despite the inevitable cyclical nature of the banking industry, J.P. Morgan has consistently shown resilience and remained a powerful player in the U.S. financial system. Its strong financial position and profitability give investors confidence in its long-term prospects. Now we move on to the big leagues, stocks that have the potential to pay over $10,000 per month. AbbVie is a leading pharmaceutical company known for its generous dividend policy. It has an impressive track record of increasing its dividends for over 50 years in a row, earning the prestigious title of Dividend King. Currently, AbbVie offers one of the highest dividend yields in the industry, standing at a very impressive 3.96%. But even better, for long-term investors, the company promises a very generous 10-year dividend growth rate of 17.16%. So, if John invests $10,000 today and holds this stock for 30 years, his investment after 30 years will be worth $1,545,682, paying him an annual dividend of $239,061, or roughly $19,922 per month. 
That number might seem unrealistic, but that's how reinvestment works. It multiplies your investment, and a good dividend growth rate does the rest. AbbVie stands out in the pharmaceutical industry due to its strong dividend history and high dividend yield. The company's flagship product, Humera, has been a significant contributor to its revenue and free cash flows. Its strong cash flows and financial flexibility support the stability of the dividend. The company's long history of consistently increasing its dividends makes it an undeniable must-have choice for income investors seeking stable returns, and a must-have for our portfolio in the end, which will pay upwards of $20,000. Our next stock on the list is the undisputed leader in the payments processing industry, Visa. Known by the ticker symbol V, it has raised dividends for 14 consecutive years. Visa currently offers a dividend yield of around 0.76%. While this yield may seem low compared to some other dividend stocks or the broader market, the important figure here is the huge 10-year dividend growth rate of 19.02%. Based on this, if John invests $10,000 today and holds this stock for 30 years, his investment after 30 years will balloon to $2,636,157, paying him an annual dividend of $447,023, or roughly $37,252 per month. As we said, Visa is the undisputed leader in the payments processing industry. It operates a global payment technology network that facilitates electronic fund transfers between consumers, businesses, banks, and governments. Visa's dominance in the payments processing industry is a significant factor that sets it apart from its competitors. With over 4.2 billion cards on its network, it surpasses its closest competitor MasterCard by a wide margin. The company's extensive global reach and large customer base create a strong competitive moat, making it challenging for new players to enter the market and challenge Visa's position. Now, before we show you the safest method to earn $30,000 per month using a portfolio of 10 stocks, here comes the final buy and hold forever dividend stock on our list, Intos. Known by the ticker symbol CTAS, Cintas is a lesser-known dividend aristocrat. It's the biggest provider of uniform rental services in the country and serves more than 1 million business customers operating in a wide variety of service-providing and goods-producing industries. The business makes money by renting out uniforms for workers to wear, collecting, washing, and sending them back to be used again. While this is certainly a, a boring business, it has numerous competitive advantages that generate very predictable cash flows that can be used for dividend growth. Cintas has over 8,000 local delivery routes, which help it offer reliable service and relatively low costs for each region it operates in. The company has increased its dividend for over 30 consecutive years and has one of the best dividend growth profiles of all the dividend aristocrats thanks to its 34% payout ratio and the opportunity to continue consolidating its fragmented industry. Currently, the business offers a dividend yield of 1.08%, but when you look into long-term dividend growth, it promises a 10-year dividend growth rate of 21.8%. So, if John invests $10,000 today and holds this stock for 30 years, his investment after 30 years will grow massively to $5,828,946, paying him an annual dividend of $1,000,000. $114,793, or roughly $92,899 per month. That is the power of reinvesting dividends, but it only works when you give it time to do its magic. So, does this mean you should go and invest all your money in Cintas? The answer to that question is a resounding no. Remember the first rule of finance, don't put all your eggs in one basket. In simple terms, putting all your investment in one stock is never a good idea. Because industries change. For instance, buying oil company stocks might feel reasonable and safe, but what if the new electric vehicle revolution takes charge? The oil industry will take a hit, and you will lose all your investment. So what should you do? Well, we can answer that. Build a portfolio of these 10 stocks.
This means if you spread your $10,000 in all these investments, you won't risk losing all of your investments if one of the industries completely shuts down. Now the question is, how much can you earn with a portfolio of these companies? Let's find out. We know PepsiCo pays a 10-year dividend growth rate of 8.02%, Ecolab 8.96%, 3M Company 9.33%, NVIDIA with a decent 11.02%, T. Rowe Price has 12.89%, Costco Wholesale Corporation with 12.96%, JP Morgan Chase with an excellent 15.1%, AbbVie has a tremendous 17.16%, Visa Incorporated with a promising 19.02%, and lastly, Centos with an impressive 10-year dividend growth rate of 21.8%. Now, if you divide all these rates by 10, which is the number of stocks we're holding, you'll get your average portfolio return, which in our case would be 13.63%. We can use this average return to find out how much John can earn from his investment. For this portfolio, we'll show you two strategies. First, with one-time investments of $10,000, $50,000, and $100,000. And secondly, only investing $200 or $500 per month, starting with one-time investment plans. Based on this rate, if John invests $10,000 today and reinvests his dividends, his initial investment in 30 years will be valued at $557,500, paying him an annual dividend yield of $69,930, or about $5,827 per month. That is more than enough for someone to retire and never worry about meeting deadlines. John can have a very happy, stress-free life after retirement. But what if you have an initial investment budget of $50,000 or $100,000? Well, let's step up to the big leagues, starting with $50,000. If John invests $50,000 today and reinvests his dividends, in 30 years, his investment will balloon to a jaw-dropping $2,787,498, paying him an annual dividend of $349,651, or roughly $29,137 per month. This might look like an exaggeration, but these numbers are completely achievable. This is what the snowball effect can do with buy-and-hold forever stocks, and the best part all these companies are some of the safest in the entire world. So, pick the right stock, reinvest, and give your investment time to grow. Now let's move on to the $100,000 budget. If John invests $100,000 in this monster portfolio, in 30 years his $100,000 will be valued at an astounding $5,574,997, paying him an annual dividend of $699,302, or roughly $58,275 per month. With this monthly income, John can lead a worry-free life, afford his dream car, dream house, global travel, all while still having enough left for luxuries and a comfortable lifestyle. But let's be honest, you may not have an initial investment budget saved up right now. No worries, you can go with our second investing option, which is investing $200 or $500 per month. If you invest $200 every month in this portfolio, in 30 years, you will have invested $72,000. By the end of the 30-year period, if you reinvest the dividends you earn, your investment would be valued at $986,149, paying an annual dividend of $123,532, or roughly $10,294 per month. With a $500 per month investment in this portfolio in 30 years, you will have invested $180,000. And by the end of that 30-year period, if you reinvest the dividends you earn, your investment would be valued at $2,465,373, paying you an annual dividend of $308,830, or roughly $25,736 per month. This shows that if you don't have an initial investment saved up for now, that's not an obstacle. You can start today with a monthly investment and still hit the $20,000 per month mark.
As we wrap up the compilation, we want to thank you for joining us on this journey. As the year ends, we wish you a prosperous, dividend-rich future. Happy investing and Happy New Year!